Hello. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, we're going to cover Unit 8.4, Listening Section, Part 7a. Today, you're going to do listening on committees. Then you will answer questions about the recording. Lastly, I'm going to suggest you some further study and practice opportunities to develop your listening skills. Before listening, let's try to understand what community is. Community is defined as a group of people with a common characteristics, characteristic or interest living together within a larger society. What about what makes a community community? Generally, they have a common place to meet or live. The place can be geographical or virtual. And then they share some commonalities, such as norms, language, religion, customs, identity, interests, or hobbies. As an example of a community, we can mention an academic community, or a scientific community, or a religious community, or online community. Ethnic community is another one, which means their ethnical background make them to come together. Okay, we will do the listening part now. In the listening, imagine that you're going to design a community. And when you design a community, try to answer these questions. Where would the community be located? Where? In a city, in a village? Who would be the members of the community? Students, gamers? Who? Who would, would it be a large or small community? And what laws will there be? What rules? Now, you're going to listen to two people and they are talking about designing a new community. And they discuss about these questions. I want you to write down your answers for each question. Then we will check your answers. Now the listening. Unit 8. Recording 8. So Sharon, um, imagine you had to start a brand new community. Uh, yes. I know it's a difficult question, but ideally, where would it be? Um, I'd probably choose somewhere quite warm. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so you didn't have any issues of flooding or, you know, um, too much snow to deal with, something like that. And then I choose um, a, another place that most people would probably choose. I'm not an island. Um, where, where are but you? But I think... <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, so in France. Like it. Okay. And, and, and who would be there? The French only or a mixture of people? No, I, well, it would need to be um, a mix of people and they'd need to be able to help one another. In what so, way? Well, um, I'd like to take one person who's an expert in one field, another person who's an expert in another field. So you have, you know, arty people, um, manually skilled people, um, good orators, oh, good writers. It's a whole range of skills. Exactly. All going into the melting pot. Yes, but um, I wouldn't have too many people to start with, although if it's too small a group, then I suppose you risk um, falling out. But I think if you keep that group fairly small to begin with, then you can draw up your own special laws um, you know, would, to would govern it, yourself. Would it need laws, do you think, this... This utopian society? Mm, well, ideally there'd be no laws, but because people are human, mm. I think you would probably have to still come up with some ground rules, yes. What would be the most important one? <clears throat> oh, um, I think um, not to physically hurt somebody else, I suppose. Right, so pretty much like we have at the minute. Yes, I suppose. Okay, now the answers. For the first one, 
let's remind the question. Uh, let's remember the question. The place of the community. She says she will choose an island in France. And for the second one, there will be a mix of people, experts on a range of skills. And for the fourth question, small or a large community, she wouldn't have many people. It will be fairly small community, she says. And there will be no laws, but some ground rules, she says. I hope your answers are similar. Okay. Now I thank you for watching and participating. Before I leave, I'm going to suggest you some further study and practice opportunities. If you want to do more practice on listening, you can complete the exercises on my English lab. Or you can refer to Speak Out Intermediate Book, Unit 8.4 Listening Exercises, the same section. Or you can click on to www.learningenglish.voanews.com. Here in this website, you can listen and read the news at the same time in English. And thank you again, and I want you to have a nice day.